pretty sure that you forgot about this broken feature in Hearts of Iron 4. This new feature is not that broken, but I managed to break it, and yeah, I called it a new feature, even though it came out almost half a year ago with the Bible alone DLC and also Avalon Shockblade, but I think it's DLC exclusive, unfortunately. Obviously, I'm talking about field co officers or field commanders, whatever you call them. These guys lead divisions. But here's the thing, they sometimes get citations, basically awarding them medals, which give them buffs, buffs to that division that they're leading. And I found a way how we can basically farm them. In this instance, I'm going to grab Germany, and I'm just going to attack Czechoslovakia, because they're easy example. As for Czechoslovakia, I'm going to delete all their army, because why the hell not? When you want to do this, you have to pick one certain field commander. Let's go for this guy, Fritz Sturm. His name is literally Fritz storm so he leads the 23rd infantry division also you should always pick the guys with high skill but in case of germany all of them have the high skill so yeah we gotta find the 23rd infantry division you can simply do that by right clicking on this guy it's this one let's put it up into separate army and now here's how you can farm the citations there's three ways actually first way is by simply taking the capital while doing that you should avoid taking any other victory points and look at this this guy is about to take the capital and let me show you this if you go here he now has one Citation. We can give him either Iron Cross, Knight's Cross, Knight's Cross with Oak Leaves, or Knight's Cross with Sword and Diamonds. That gives him plus 10% Orc, plus 15% Reconnaissance, minus 7.5% Supply Consumption, and also minus 7.5% Army Fuel Consumption, and also plus 7.5% Breakthrough. So, you can pick whichever you want. In my opinion, the Reconnaissance is pretty bad, Orc is pretty good, Supply Consumption is okay, and Breakthrough is also pretty good. Now, this varies on the doctrines, on ideologies and whatnot, but I've noticed that the fascist ideology has it best, as always, has been everything in this game basically. So I'm gonna go for the Iron Cross of the second class, giving him plus 10% organization. And you will notice that this division now has 53 orc. Oh, now it has 58, it used to have 53. What you're gonna do now is simply take the next capital, and no, I'm not kidding. But here's the thing when you take the first capital, you're always gonna get a field citation. As for the any other capitals, any next ones, you don't always get a field citation. Actually, it doesn't matter if you take the city or not, you just have to grab control over the state. Most of the times, that's the biggest city in the state. Sometimes it's not, for example, the state of Saxony or Saxon, where Leipzig and Dresden have the same amount of victory points. It's basically 50 50 with all these secondary capitals. But here's one important thing about these citations they stack, but not quite well. Let me show you what I mean. I'm gonna show it with the organization example. Look at this, it's just halves every single time. At first it was 10%, then it was 5%, now it's plus 2.5. Eventually you'll be able to get it up to about 19%. I mean, mathematically you will get it to 19.99999%, but you won't do it infinite amount of times. You'll do it probably 5 times at most. The second way you can get it, I'm going to declare war on Poland. You basically lose your states, you lose land. And let's send them around liberating places. First things first, they just liberated Kustrin. The chance for them to get a field citation, they didn't get it. Stettin is next. Field citation is here. Another field citation. Obviously, the only time it's guaranteed is when you take the first capital. Everything else is just random. Which leads me to the third method, which is simply declaring war to as many countries as you can. And then simply use one very special division to take the capital. So just took one capital. Now you can spam one of these citations. I wouldn't recommend you to do this though. I would recommend you to get like seven of them or eight of them at most. Pick each of these at least once and then just farm another one or two. So you gotta balance them out. And besides balancing them out with one field commander, you could definitely use more field commanders, like three or four. And then you simply change the template of this division, but it's not encircled obviously. For example, we change it to this template, let's just say that this is some very powerful tank division template. At the end you would have like four very powerful tank divisions. We should obliterate everything in front of them because they have all these breakthrough and organization bonuses. So yeah guys, that's the feature, that's the way you can exploit it. I think it's pretty useful, it requires some micro, but I think it's worth it. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video guys, and yeah, see you in the next one. Bye!